guys welcome back um, what's new with the 240 there's uh there's quite a bit that's changed and whatnot <sighs> the last video you guys saw I uh, was tearing out my ka um, what I should have done at the time I didn't have any other plans I told everybody I told YouTube I told Facebook I told everybody that I had blown my ka um, the actuality is uh, I actually didn't even blow it up I knew I wanted to do a motor swap but uh, so I, uh, I had my friend Eric come down. Eric, from he's from the cities and whatnot. Uh, he just blew his KA up, uh, his KAT. So he came down. Uh, he helped me, helped me get it out and whatnot. So uh, anyway, that was back in April, May, whenever that was. I don't even remember. But anyway, I thought I was going to be able to get a motor or an engine relatively soon, but that didn't happen. So what it ended up happening is I got a second job. Uh, everything from the second job ended up going to a motor. Not to a motor, but just parts to save and save and save and save. Uh, that brings me to my next point. Uh, what motor did I end up choosing? So I, I shouldn't have done what I did. I should have just kept my mouth shut and whatnot, but I told Facebook that, uh, pretty much Facebook and Instagram, that I bought an SR20 from from my friend, from my friend Salome, but uh, fact of the matter is I never even bought it. Uh, I was trying to do it just because I wanted to uh, pretty much, I did it because I wanted people to like think that I bought it so I could actually go and do something else. What was I actually planning? Um, I, was at, I was actually planning an LS swap. Um, I do, I have an LS2 block, but uh, it's, I didn't want to build it right away, not that I didn't want to build it right away, I didn't want to build it, build this 500 horsepower NA LS motor and not know how to drive. So uh, I did something else, so I didn't buy, obviously I sold my KA, um, I didn't buy an SR, and I'm not throwing the LS in right away. So what's, what's that leave? Um, I really wanted to go V8. So. One of my friends, Derek, he runs a junkyard. Uh, I really wanted to pick up a, uh, what is it? It's out of an SC300. I'm drawing a complete blank right now. Uh, 1UZ, a 1UZ FE. Uh, stock, those make right around the 300. That's like 290 horsepower, if I remember right. Um, good torque, obviously. Uh, what I didn't want to do, I don't have a welder, and I didn't want to buy a swap off everybody, anybody, because that's kind of... I'm, I'm not too keen on finishing somebody else's project. So, uh, I never ended up even going 1UZ. Um, so, um, I was looking at 1U, or at, uh, 1Js and 2Js, but the fact of the matter is, I just, I like Nissan, and I really wanted to keep it Nissan, at least for the time being. The hatch is, as of right now, I really wanted to go full FD spec everything on this on this car, but I just uh, I don't I'm not too I'm not a big fan of hatches. So my main goal is to uh, engine swap this and keep it in most mostly street street worthy, uh, just super super clean street machine and whatnot. Um, so I ended up going with an RB. Huh. Now I've gotten a lot of hate for this because. Everybody, everybody's like, go, go, uh, RB26, RB25, but I didn't. I went RB20. <laughs> Why did I go RB20? Uh, it was cheaper. Yeah, people are like, oh, it's six, seven, eight hundred dollars cheaper. Well, you shouldn't have went that route. Well, I did. It's not the end of the world. They still make a decent amount of power with an RB25 turbo and probably a tune. There's no reason why I cannot get up to that, like, 290, 300 horsepower range. Well, obviously, I'm going to throw an intake, full exhaust, because it has to. So, that's still doubling the KA power, so I'd, people shouldn't be upset. It's my build, it's my money. It's going to, it's going to what I want it to, so people just need to, to back off. It's, it's my build. So, um, I guess without further ado, why don't we, why don't we go look at my car? Uh, I've changed a lot since you guys have seen it, so... Alrighty guys, um, for some reason the voiceover for this last video was, was pretty crap. 
Uh, it kept cutting in and out, so uh, I'm just going to do a new voiceover and whatnot. So anyway, um, what do we got here? Uh, so right above me, uh, we're going to pan up here. Uh, there's a bumper, a red vice bumper that I had got from my friend Jeremy. Um, it was just just for test fitting. I may use this uh, for my future body kit. We're not we're not sure exactly. I really like Super Duf, so I really want to go that route. Plus, it's made in the USA. So anyway, uh, that bumper that it's caused a lot of hate. Uh, people say that I'm being sponsored by McDonald's and whatnot. Well, I'm not painting the car red. the The car is going to be uh, a metallic blue, well, either that or, or yellow. So anyway, um, that's been catching a lot of hate and whatnot. So. <laughs> It's just words. Need to people just need to knock it off. Mind their own business. It's not their build. It's my build and whatnot. So anyway, here's the RB20. So, all right. So what else? What's uh? What are my other plans with the 240? My main plans. I want to get this thing running. I want to drive this thing before winter. Um, the only thing I have left. Everything's mounted. I have the trans mount, the motor mounts, the poly mounts, uh, the fuel is hooked up, the throttle bodies, or the throttle cables hooked up. Um, all I really need to do is run a couple vacuum lines and intercooler, uh, some sort of race, uh, not race, uh, some sort of radiator setup. I'm probably going to go with the chase bays just because there is not much room up front. There's very little and I, I want as much clearance and I want the cleanest looking like I said, the cleanest 240 that I can possibly build is my first ground up build. So, um, what else? Uh, wiring harness. The wiring harness, harness I'm actually going to buy like next week, one or, one or two weeks out, whatever. Um, so hopefully I can get that within a month or and a half. Like I said, I won't, uh, I won't drive this once for snow hits because I don't want to, it has one thing, this has, I think this, uh, 240 has a welded diff and, <laughs> That could get a little sketchy in the snow. Um, other than that, uh, I really don't want to drive this in the snow just because it's salty. Uh, once once there's salt on the road, that's it can eat it can do wonders to cars. So um, I will cage this car. Um, I don't know what kind of cage though. I don't know if I if I just want to buy a bolt-in cage. I don't know. I don't really want to. I don't know what I want to do. I talked to my friend Travis. We were gonna tube front, tube rear, and uh, fully FD spec the K or FD spec cage. But like I said, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with this. I would much rather find a, a really clean coupe and build a coupe. I absolutely love coupes. Another thing, um, I may, if I really want to go pro am eventually, I may even just find another another chassis in general. Um, FD now has they have rules on uh, on age limits of the chassis. Uh, I want to say it's again twenty five years. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure pro that's pro one pro two I don't think there's anything off the top of my the top of my head but uh anyway so back to uh back to the whole winter or what what I'm gonna do to this thing uh once snow snowfall hits uh suspension's gonna be be completely redone um I'm gonna go with uh raceland not raceland don't ever buy raceland I'm sorry that's what I had on my mustang and they they're absolute garbage <laughs> I'm gonna end up going with uh BC coils. Uh, I don't know. Probably their DR series. I don't know. Probably their mid series, just because I just I want high quality. I don't want to cheap out. People yet again are gonna be like, "Well, you cheaped out and bought an RB20." That's a little different story. It's it's still a, a good platform. So, um, other than that, uh, I'll probably go Power by Max. Uh, all all arms. So, toe arms, um, tie rods, and everything uh, I'll end up doing all solid mounts chassis or all pretty much drivetrain mounts training mounts engine mounts obviously I already have solid mounts anyway um, solid subframe mounts air bushings everything so that way I can roll this car out next winter and it, in a sense it'll be new that's my goal um, I will paint this car eventually I know I want to do a kit I up right literally right above me I have that vice kit that vice body or that vice bumper will I use it I don't know I'm gonna try and fix it it's pretty pretty battered but we'll see um, I really want a super doof kit it's kind of expensive but it's it's US made and it's it's an it's just it's astonishing to me <laughs> there's nothing pleasing to the eye than that kid it's this is the kit that I've always felt that I fell in love with since day one 
So anyway, uh, we've talked about suspension, we've talked about the motor, we've talked about kind of interior, other than that. Really there's not much more. Um, all I gotta say is uh, stay tuned. Um, also, uh, just keep the keep the negative t negativity down. I'm I'm done. I just yes, the hate fuels me to do more. It it does. Trust me. But it's only so much a person can take. So it's it's not your guys's build. So just back off. Uh, anyway, we uh, discussed everything else. So. Uh, I'm sorry that this this was really just an informational video. It wasn't anything much, but uh, just uh, stay tuned for more. Um, if you like this video, if you guys want to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. So, without anything else, uh, deuces.